nagulat ako sa, sa narinig ko. Bakit? Kasi ganito yung narinig ko. Kung malaya lang ako, kung malaya lang ako. <laughs> so, syempre, ako sabi ko, who's that? I found out I was gonna be recording a Venice Eternal song. I felt very excited. I felt nervous. I felt anxious because I felt like something great was about to happen. Uh, my most favorite Venice Eternal song that I have recorded, siempre would have to be "Kung Malay Lang Ako." because I feel like this is the song that definitely skyrocketed my career here in the Philippines. And uh, this song is uh, definitely what gave me my voice in the Philippine music industry. And it goes a little something like this. Kung malaya lang ako Kung malaya lang ako Ipagsisikawan kong mahal kita That's Kung Malay Lang Ako. My initial reaction when I first heard the demo of the song was sa totoo lang, nagulat ako. Kasi um, dati, from, from living in the States for 20 years, um, I've, I've listened to a lot of demos. And usually in the States, they really get a demo singer, uh, they really spice it up, right? So when I heard that I was getting a, a song written by the biggest songwriter in the Philippines, uh, it really nagulat ako sa, sa narinig ko. Bakit? Kasi ganito yung narinig ko sa kung malay lang ako. So I listened, right? I was very interested. Kasi ito yung narinig ko. Kung malaya lang ako Kung malaya lang ako <laughs> So, syempre, ako sabi ko, nagulat ako. I said, who's that? And then as soon as they said, that's Benny's Eternal. I said, my, the smile on my face went, oh. And my perspective just changed because I felt the passion and I felt the love for his music through his music. And my perspective changed because I realized at that very moment that it was an honor and a privilege to record and sing a song from Benny Saturno. Tate Benny during the recording session, uh, he's physically there, but I think it all boils down to your relationship with him. Uh, me personally, I think we both have developed a trust for each other. Because honestly, when I recorded Kung Malaya Lang Ako, I recorded that at home. And Tito Veni was not there. Uh, so we, I sent him the files. He corrected a lot of my diction because I was 95% Amboy at the time. And I had a very hard time recording the song. But he wasn't physically there. And I think it's because he trusted my ear. But the recording sessions that I recorded at the Venice Eternal Music Corporation, he's physically there, but he lets you be the artist that you want to be. He pops in and he pops out. But he does that because he just wants to see where you guys are in terms of how far you are in the recording. If he hears something that he doesn't like, then he's gonna tell you, can you do it like this? And when he tells you that, you have to trust his ear because Venny Saturno knows yung kiniti ng masa. Tatay Venny, there is a very, very big reason why I call you Tatay. And it's because I look at you as a father figure slash mentor in this music industry that we all love. Napakalaki po ang ginampanan mo sa buhay ko. So, Tay, happy 40 years in this industry that we love to the Benny Saturno, and I'm looking forward to more hit songs with you. Happy 40 years.